Do manners matter at a meetup? I'm Denise O'Berry and you're watching The Little Big Show, your place for bite-sized tips that can have a big impact on your bottom line. How much time do you spend at live events where you have the opportunity to meet cyber friends in real life? If you get out to networking functions regularly, I bet your answer is a lot. If working to build relationships by attending these types of events is important to you, make sure your dining etiquette is top notch. First impressions really do matter. There are a lot of reasons that people won't do business with you and you don't want your manners to be one of them. I've sure been to my share of face-to-face -face functions and I've seen a whole bunch of bad habits. <coughs> Here are six mistakes I see on a regular basis. Now some of these are probably going to make you go, ooh, but bear with me here. First off, learn about the silverware. Each piece of silverware on the table has a purpose. You want to make sure that you use the right one for the right type of food. And don't hog the salad dressing. Most of the people at the table like salad dressing on their salad too. Make sure you share it. Just because you were the first one to get your food doesn't mean you're the first one to start eating. You want to wait for the entire table to be served before you start. And remember, your mouth is for talking and your mouth is for chewing, but not at the same time. Now you might like to get every single morsel off your plate when you're eating at home, but that doesn't necessarily apply when you're out in public. So you always need to remember that your roll is not a sponge. On that same note, remember that your finger is not a toothpick and the napkin is not a tissue. Now you might be thinking, oh come on Denise, nobody does this stuff in public. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, they do. I've seen it. Pay attention at your next function if you can stomach it. Have you seen some bad manners at meetups? Or do you have a pet peeve that just drives you nuts? Please share in the comments below. And if you know a small business owner who could use the tips I shared in this video, send them off a link to it right now. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know you want to be the first to know every time I upload a new episode. And remember to pick up your copy of my free success strategies guide, 10 Keys to Success for Small Business Owners. You can get it for free at denisoberry.com. It contains tips that I don't share anywhere else and it'll help you move forward in your business. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Have you seen some questionable manner? I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say that. <laughs>